Today we're going to make the ultimate streusel topping. This is your go-to, no-fail recipe for any streusel situation that you need. I'm going to show you how to bake it so you can use it as like a crispy, crunchy topping or how to use it unbaked um, for topping any sort of cakes or muffins or uh, banana bread or crisps. Like, this is the ultimate recipe for you. Boop, boop. Let's get into it. So streusel is actually super easy and I'm gonna make it in a stand mixer which makes it even easier. So we've got our bowl. Uh, we've got AP flour here. Pop that in. Light brown sugar. Boop. Kosher salt. Doo -doo. Cinnamon. Granulated sugar. And butter. Cubed, cold. I mean, it's not really actually cubed. It's just cut up in chunks, but get it in there. And then we're gonna put that in our stand mixer. Okay, pop the paddle attachment in there, put it on low, and let her go. Yeah, you're just gonna let this cut in completely until it's super duper homogenous. There's no butter chunks, it's just like a smooth dough, and it's gonna take a minute. So we'll check back. She's come together. I know, it only took like 10 minutes. Yes, actually 10 minutes, um, and it's done now. So, now we have streusel. Let me show you what's in my bowl. What I've got is a nice, really soft, pliable dough um, that now can be used for literally anything, right? You can bake that, this like as it is, which is what we're gonna do right now, so I can show you a little something. All right, so we are gonna bake some. I'm gonna save some of this. The, also, the amazing part about streusel is that this, you can put it in any container, sealed, in the refrigerator or freezer, and it will keep for months, yes, months, months. And you can have streusel at your fingertips at any moment, which is, you know, pretty awesome in my opinion. You live in a good life. So we're just gonna crumble a bit, big pieces, small pieces. I like to do a mixture of both. You know, I don't want a ton of streusel, like I'm not, you know, trying to make a Sunday bar over here. I'm just trying to, you know, top a, a couple scoops, right? All right, anyway, so we've got ourselves streusel. You can bake it without chilling it, um, but it will spread a little bit more. So I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator for probably about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven, uh, 325, and it's gonna get nice and crispy and whew, yay. Now we have baked and unbaked streusel. Um, so you can see these are still a little bit warm, but you can see that they got a nice golden brown. They spread a little bit. I didn't give them quite as enough time in the fridge, but um, really doesn't matter because they are crispy and sweet um, and they're perfect. The cooked version is perfect for topping sundaes or like as a crunchy element of dessert or a trifle or um, underneath an, a scoop of ice cream to keep it from melting on the plate. Um, the world is your oyster with these. You know what else they're really good on? Let me tell you. Uh, this is how you next level brunch right here. Crumble a bit on waffles or pancakes or woof. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's your baked version. Uh, and then you've got your unbaked version. So this is perfect for topping muffins and cakes and banana breads or zucchini, like literally all of the quick breads. This would be beautiful on top of all of those. Also amazing on top of um, crisps of any variety or even topping cupcakes, so you can use the baked version or you can put it on top unbaked and then as your cupcake rises, you'll get these nice crispy crunchy tops on the, on the top of your cupcake. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, so really the world is your oyster here with the streusel. You can use it in anything. Um, and I do, fun fact. I'm gonna try it because, you know, it's 9.30 in the morning. Oh, yes. It's crispy and crunchy and like a little bit sweet. It's not overly sweet, like we don't want that. It's just like a perfect amount of sweetness and crunch and whew, yes. Now our streusel, we have raw streusel, if you will. <laughs> Ew, gross, let's not say it like that. Um, ceviche, I'm just kidding. So now we have, mm. <laughs> oh, crisps, hello. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> no sweat was uh, made during this process. That sounds weird. 